Hello Explorers, welcome to Sydney. Hola Aventureros, dust off your passports and get ready for the most thrilling, fun-filled and laugh out loud adventure down under. We're in Sydney, Australia and oh boy, you're in for a treat. From sun-drenched beaches to jaw-dropping architecture, we're about to dive headfirst into the heart of this vibrant city. So grab your sunscreen and your sense of humor, because this is going to be one wild ride. My lovely wife is here to tell you more. Welcome to Explore Itinerary's channel. That's right, Davey. Sydney isn't just a city, it's a vibe, a rhythm, a celebration of life itself. Whether you're cruising the iconic harbor, chowing down on some of the best food you'll ever taste, or learning about its fascinating history, Sydney has a way of stealing your heart and making you feel like you've found a new home. Ready to explore with us? Let's go. You betcha. Sydney's got a rich history that stretches back thousands of years. The Aboriginal Australians, the traditional owners of this land, have a culture that's incredibly deep and fascinating. And then, in the late 18th century, the British, in their infinite wisdom, decide to send a fleet of ships halfway around the world. They land on the shores of what is now Sydney in 1788. The first fleet, as it's now known, is packed with convicts, marines, and a handful of free settlers. And just like that, modern Sydney is born. While visiting Australia, little did I know how much of a Vietnamese community there is here. The arrival of Vietnamese people in Australia can be traced back to several key events. Following the fall of Saigon in 1975 and the end of the Vietnam War, Many Vietnamese people feared persecution from the new communist government. Australia, along with other countries, offered resettlement programs for refugees. The first Vietnamese refugees arrived by boat in Darwin Harbour in 1976. Many more came by plane after being processed in refugee camps in Southeast Asia. In modern day, Sydney is a sparkling gem on Australia's east coast. With over 5 million people calling it home, the city is a fusion of cultures, cuisines, and customs. The Sydney Opera House and Harbour Bridge dominate the skyline. But there's so much more to this city than its famous landmarks. Absolutely. Imagine wandering through eclectic neighborhoods like Newtown with its quirky shops and street art, or the glitzy and glamorous Darling Harbour, packed with cafes, bars, and entertainment. Sydney is a city that never sleeps, and every corner has a new surprise waiting for you. Now, let's talk logistics. Where do you rest your head after a day of exploring? Two neighborhoods come to mind. Bondi and Surrey Hills. It's a classic battle between beach vibes and urban cool. Bondi baby. If you're all about sun, surf, and sand, Bondi is the place for you. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves crashing, grabbing a smoothie bowl from one of the trendy cafes, and then hitting the beach. It's laid back, it's beautiful and the people watching is top-notch. On the other hand, Surrey Hills is where the cool kids hang out. It's hipster central, with vintage shops, craft breweries, and some of the best brunch spots in town. Think tree-lined streets, cheap boutiques, and a creative vibe that's infectious. Plus, it's super close to the city center, so you're right in the thick of the action. All right, Davey, now that we've got our fabulous accommodations sorted, we should probably share some travel tips with our fans, you know, so they can vacation like pop stars too. Great idea, Slow. Let's drop some knowledge bombs. First tip is to always bring sunscreen. The Australian sun is incredibly intense, especially when you're near the ocean. It's like being under a giant spotlight all day long. The ozone layer is thinner, so the UV rays are stronger. You have to be really careful about sun protection. Speaking of the ocean, here's a fun fact for you. Sydney is home to the world's largest natural harbor. Oh, and get this, Sydney Harbor is actually a sunken river valley. It's not a traditional harbor at all. Mind blown. Speaking of water, here's a cool fact. Sydney's New Year's Eve fireworks use more than 11,000 shells and 25,000 shooting comets. That's a lot of boom boom pow. And don't forget, they drive on the left here. Took me a good few near misses with double-decker buses to get the hang of it. One more thing. 
Sydney is an early to bed, early to rise kind of city. Most cafes and shops open early and close by early evening. So if you're planning a night out, make sure to check the closing times of places you want to visit. Now let's sprinkle in some unique facts about Sydney to impress your friends back home. Here's a cool one. The first ever official Mardi Gras was held in Sydney in 1978. What started as a protest march has evolved into one of the world's most famous LGBTQ celebrations, drawing visitors from around the globe every year. Sydney was the site of the first formal wine grape plantings in Australia. The governor's garden at Farm Cove saw the first vines in 1788. Now Australia is one of the world's leading wine producers. Cheers to that. And did you know that Sydney is also the birthplace of Wi-Fi? Yep, those pesky internet connections we all rely on. We can thank some clever Aussies for that one. Another invention that is pretty cool. The black box flight recorder. It was invented by Dr. David Warren in Melbourne, but it was first manufactured in Sydney. Pretty impressive, right? Definitely. Oh, and here's another Sydney innovation, the modern torpedo. Although maybe we shouldn't be too excited about that one. Yeah, let's focus on the more positive inventions. Like the electric drill. It was invented by Arthur James Arnott in Sydney in 1889. Love it. And here's one more Explorer Pro tip. Learn some Aussie slang before you come. It'll help you fit in with the locals. Oh, I've been working on that. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. Uh, Davy? We talked about this. Aussies don't actually say that last part. Oh, right. Well, how about this one? No worries, mate. That's more like it. You'll be a true blue Aussie in no time. Banza. That means good, right? Close enough, Davy. Close enough. Let's dive into the cinematic world of Sydney. This city has been the backdrop for some of Hollywood's biggest blockbusters and beloved TV shows. One of the most iconic movies filmed here is The Matrix. Remember those mind-bending action sequences? Many of them were shot right in the heart of Sydney. Another gem is Mission Impossible 2. Tom Cruise's high-octane stunts had him scaling the cliffs of Bear Island and racing through the streets of Sydney. And let's not forget the Wolverine. Hugh Jackman returned to his hometown to film parts of this superhero blockbuster. The dramatic landscapes of Sydney provided a perfect backdrop for Wolverine's action-packed adventures. Of course, Sydney isn't just about Hollywood blockbusters. Aussie TV shows like Home and Away are practically global phenomena. Who knows, maybe you'll even spot some familiar faces sunbathing on Bondi Beach. Sydney has produced some stellar talent that's made waves both locally and internationally. One of the most famous faces is Hugh Jackman. This multi-talented actor and singer is known for his roles in The Greatest Showman and, of course, as Wolverine in the X-Men series. He's a true Sydney cider, born and raised in this vibrant city. And then there's Nicole Kidman. This Oscar-winning actress has a career that spans decades with unforgettable performances in movies like Moulin Rouge, The Hours, and Big Little Lies. She's not just a Hollywood star, she's a Sydney icon. Let's talk about music. Sia. The powerhouse singer-songwriter known for her hits like Chandelier and Cheap Thrills hails from Sydney. Her unique voice and distinctive style have made her a global sensation. We also have to give a shout out to the Hemsworth brothers. Chris Hemsworth, best known as Thor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, was born in Melbourne but grew up in Sydney. His brother Liam Hemsworth, who starred in The Hunger Games, also has roots in this amazing city. And how about Ribba Wilson? This hilarious actress and comedian, Known for her roles in Pitch Perfect and Bridesmaids is a proud Sydney cider. Her comedic talent has brought her international fame and a dedicated fan base. Sports fans, you're not left out. Ian Thorpe, also known as the Torpedo, is one of Australia's most successful Olympians. This swimming legend has won five Olympic gold medals and countless world championships, all while calling Sydney his home. Hey Davey, all this exploring has got me thinking. Sydney is such an amazing place. Could you imagine living here full time? You know, I was just wondering the same thing. It seems like it could be a great spot for expats and digital nomads. I mean, the weather is fantastic, the people are friendly, and the quality of life seems top notch. Absolutely. And with all these beaches, I could totally see myself retiring here. I can picture us doing morning yoga on Bondi Beach, afternoon strolls through the Royal Botanic Garden, and evenings watching the sunset over the harbor. That does sound pretty dreamy. And you know what? 
I've heard Sydney is actually a great place for digital nomads. The internet's super fast, there are tons of cool co-working spaces, and the coffee culture is per perfect for those long work sessions. Ooh, tell me more. What else makes it good for expats and digital nomads? Well, for starters, almost everyone speaks English, which makes it easy to get around and make friends. Plus, the healthcare system is top-notch. They've got this thing called Medicare that covers a lot of medical expenses. That's awesome. And what about the lifestyle? I mean, we've seen how active everyone is here. Oh, it's perfect for that. There are so many outdoor activities. Surfing, hiking, cycling. You'd never run out of things to do. And the city's super multicultural, so you can find food and cultural experiences from all over the world. Sounds like paradise. But come on, Davy, there's got to be some challenges too. What about the cost of living? Ah, you got me there. Sydney's not cheap, that's for sure. Housing costs, especially in the city center, can be pretty steep. Yeah, I noticed that. Even with our superstar salaries, some of those harborside mansions made my eyes water. Exactly. And it's not just housing. Eating out and entertainment can be pricey too. Plus, if you're coming from the US, you've got to factor in the exchange rate. Ouch. That could definitely put a dent in the retirement fund. What other challenges might expats face? Well, there's the distance. Sydney's pretty far from, well, everywhere. If you've got family back in the States or Europe, visits could be few and far between. Oh, I didn't think about that. I'd miss my family and friends like crazy if I couldn't see them often. What about visas? Australia's got pretty strict immigration laws. Getting a long-term visa or permanent residency can be a complex process. Yikes. Sounds like a lot of paperwork. Any other challenges we should know about? Well, there's the wildlife. I mean, we've joked about it. But Australia really does have some dangerous creatures. Sharks, snakes, spiders. It might take some getting used to. So what's the verdict? Is Sydney a good place to retire or live as an expat or digital nomad? Well, it depends. If you crave sunshine, adventure, and a laid-back lifestyle, then Sydney might just be your dream destination. But if you're scared of a little homesickness and a big price tag, maybe this isn't the city for you. Let's talk about food, one of my favorite subjects. Sydney's culinary scene is as diverse as its population, offering a melting pot of flavors from around the world. But let's dive into some local authentic foods that you absolutely must try. First up, the iconic meat pie. This savory pastry is a staple in Australian cuisine. You'll find a flaky crust filled with tender meat and rich gravy, sometimes topped with mashed potatoes or mushy peas. You can find these pies at bakeries and corner stores all over the city. They're the perfect snack or a quick meal on the go. Another must try is barramundi, a local fish that's a favorite among Aussies. It's often grilled or pan fried to perfection with a mild buttery flavor that's incredibly satisfying. You'll find barramundi on menus across Sydney, from upscale restaurants to casual beachside eateries. And don't miss out on trying kangaroo meat. It might sound exotic, but kangaroo is lean, flavorful, and considered a sustainable choice. It's often served as a steak or in gourmet burgers. Well, we can't leave Sydney without trying some local wines. The Hunter Valley, just north of Sydney, produces some amazing Cimillon and Shiraz. Sydney's street food scene is thriving, and the best place to dive into it is at one of the city's many markets. The Sydney Fish Market is a great spot to start. Here, you can sample fresh seafood straight from the ocean, including oysters, prawns, and sashimi. It's a seafood lover's paradise. Oh, and for a true blue Aussie pub experience, we've got to check out the Lord Nelson Brewery Hotel. It's Sydney's oldest continually licensed hotel, and they brew their own beer. A historic pub that brews its own beer. Now, that's something you don't see every day. All right, folks, our Sydney adventure is winding down. We've soaked up the sun on Bondi Beach, explored the historic charm of the rocks, and even cuddled with some adorable koalas. We've tasted the best the city's food scene has to offer, from mouth-watering meat pies to fancy seafood with a view. And let's not forget the people. Sydney's residents are some of the friendliest and most welcoming folks we've ever met. Their laid-back attitude and infectious energy made us feel right at home. 
even on the other side of the world. So pack your bags, bring your curiosity, and get ready to fall in love with Sydney. Whether you're here for a short visit or planning a longer stay, this city will capture your heart and ignite your sense of wonder. We hope our journey through Sydney has inspired you to embark on your own. Remember, the world is full of incredible places waiting to be explored, and Sydney is one of the brightest gems. Remember, half the fun of any vacation is in the planning phase. Do your research and plan your itinerary in advance. Your support means the world to us, so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and remember, the world is waiting for you. Until next time.